All right, guys. So this right here is the Air Force One 07 Premium Bronx Origins. All right. Very first thing you're gonna notice is just an old school Nike box. Now, let's first talk about the shoe. For those that don't know, and, and even myself, when I first saw this shoe, I thought this shoe was strictly for the Bronx natives. You know what I'm saying? Up there in New York, I thought it was a BX thing or a YO thing. Only because, you know, at the bottom of the shoe and in the gum bottom, it says Bronx Origins. But when I look closer into the shoe, it's, it just, it's obvious that, you know, this is more than just a shout out to the Bronx. This is hip hop culture right there, right here. You know what I'm saying? From 1973, from the birth of hip hop to 1982, to the birth of the Air Force One. And it's crazy because, you know, that's why they're showing so much love to this with the anniversary edition. So the very first thing that you're going to notice besides the old school, you know, ornaments, lace locks, name tags, whatever you want to try to call this. You know, not name tags, but tags in general. You got, you know, the old school fat laces. Uh, this is the only pair of laces that comes with it. There's no regular pair. You just got the old school thick cotton fat laces that come with the shoe to represent, you know what I'm saying, that, that old school hip hop style, you know. And, and like I said, at first I thought with the bottom saying Bronx Origins, you know, and you know you should have just known off the off the rip when it said the origin you know what i'm saying it's the birth of hip-hop but you know if you want to get deeper into the history of, of the air force one the air force one really didn't even have its start in new york city you know what i'm saying baltimore you know what i'm saying took the air force one and made it their own first in the early 80s and then it went up to new york and then new york took it to the world with rappers and all that stuff but anyway you know, this is a good shoe. It's used with premium materials. Uh, the only thing I, I would say, you know, it's used with premium leather. I'm not going to say it's the greatest leather, but it's probably the closest leather you're going to probably get to some of the older Air Force One models or the older Air Force One fills. Um, you know, next thing we can talk about is it's definitely true to size, in my opinion. I always get Air Force Ones in my size. Um... On the inside, it just says Bronx Origins. And I don't know what the symbol is, but it looks like a record. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so once again, dedication dedicated to hip hop. On the back, it just says Air Force One in that premium stitching, white inside. Uh, you know, I wanna give a shout out to the tongue as well here. You know what I mean? Because they use premium leather this time instead of the the crappy leather that, that the Air Force One is usually known for right there. The only problem that I really don't like, you know what I'm saying, is the gum bottom. It's beautiful and it's nice when you first get it, but you walk across a couple of puddles, some ground, some mud, and it's gonna get nasty. Later on, it's gonna turn yellow. So, you know, maybe this shoe would have a certain look when it becomes black, white, and just a dirty, rotten yellow at the bottom. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to put this out there to let the people know that, you know, if you're interested, this is not just a Bronx thing, you know what I'm saying? Because I got mad people in New York who's like, yo, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, the shoe need to have Brooklyn on the bottom, ah, uh, ah, uh, Queens, you know what I'm saying? Like, I rock it then. Like, nah, it's got the Bronx on there because it's representing hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Which all New Yorkers should be proud of. All, all hip hop heads across the U.S. and the world should just be proud of in general. But anyway... True to size, premium leather here, good quality. I'm not cool with the, you know what I'm saying, with the bottom getting disgusting yellow later on. You're not even going to probably be able to see the Bronx Origins on it after a couple years of wear, or, or excuse me, a couple of months of wear. Um, but other than that, it's a solid shoe. Uh, how do you guys feel out there, you know, about the Air Force Ones? It seems like, number one, they raised the price from $100 to 110 now. And not only that, they've even tried to get people to pay $150 for all black Air Force Ones now. Talking about it's the premium old school Air Force One fill. How do you guys feel about that? I think it's all cap personally, but I could be wrong.